instantly got better uh, better mentality yeah. as well. That's what I try to tell people. Like, if you're gonna play a game and hate it, you're not gonna get very far. Yeah, you're gonna be you're gonna find yourself upset very, very time, very, very much. And Once we, you learn to accept and have fun, you'll start to get yourself a little. And we found two players who've accepted and had fun with the two characters that were playing Snake and Shulk, Rody versus Nico on Pokemon Stadium too. All right, so Rody starting off with these grenades. The grenade pulls again, very standard for snakes here, and very nice going with the spot dodge after the grenade burst. It gets a reverse neutral air into the forward tilt. That's something a lot of shots should start doing a little bit more because the reverse hit, uh, reverse hit of neutral air allows you to get a forward tilt a little bit more reliably than, yeah. than the normal neutral air. And I mentioned earlier, right, when we saw Nico on stream, being in Buster Art does give you access to different combos. Oh man, he put it down to rest on the grenade, man. He said, please, F in the chat. All right, got to go with a jump back air here, smash arts. Nope, not going to catch it with a back air. Just spot dodges in time as well. All right, speed art just to catch him. Oh, wow, just opting to stay in one place on the Nikita, uh, on the oh, side for there. Oh, pivot grab here. He's going to shield art. He knows he needs to big damage. Well, I'm, I'm still got 102. All right, the grenade actually saved him from getting killed by the back air. Very nice placement from Brody there. Going to throw out the, the napalm there, oh, and the back air going to take grenade. it. I love these grenade placements. Force, force Sneakle to, into his shield and respect him as he's coming back to stage. Yeah, another miss back air. Nico looking for the stock here at 150 AM. Snake's one of those characters. His damage does snowball. Yeah, again, snowballing effect, especially with these grenades. We saw it in the battle from AC versus Tropical here. Rody trying to express it. Oh, tries to go with the Stairmaster, gets yeah. hit with the air slash out of shield. I like it. We mentioned a lot earlier, man, having those other specials out of shield, really good opportunity to have against a lot of characters and opponents. All right, going to go with the back throw. Catch him with a grenade there. Another grenade pop. Uh, and that's the thing about, I think that's the thing that Nico's trying to slowly work on is, okay, I need to use back air a little bit more because all my other aerials will hit the grenade. Back air will not. And even if back air does hit the grenade, he would be at a range where grenade exploding would not hit him. So he's trying to play the matchup to one of best, one of Shulk's strengths. Yeah, and I love what Rody was doing there. He tried to read the roll-in uh, with, with the... Nair one, mm -hmm. but then retreated back to Nico to catch him on the neutral getup. And this Nikita, a little bit dangerous here, gets him with a grab down throw. Oh, nice. And he tried to go for it, but unfortunately did not catch the timing right. Yeah. Go, I, on, go on. Oh, no. I, I love. Wow. <laughs> snaked. Got snaked. But I love what Rody was doing there. He moved forward a little bit because the forward tilt actually wouldn't have caught him on the forward, uh, okay, forward tilt, okay. too. See, I didn't see that. I, I usually, I, the way we saw AC kind of play it, right? But that goes to show K. Roll is much bigger of a character, yeah. right? It works that way for K. Roll and different weights. Yeah, but Nico going all in with that jump, uh, with that jump uh, up air as well. Definitely t robbing that stock away from Snake here. Nice. I like how he kind of spaced the forward a little bit, kind of yeah. looking to grab by Rody. Yeah, I like how he's using Retreat Fair. Uh, Yodi definitely had to respect it as well. Mm -hmm. Throwing out the Nikita. Oh, oh, what? So the way he had cleared the grenade, he cleared it for just enough time that when he picked it back up, the explosion was enough. I don't even think that was a grenade explosion that killed him. I I think that was just a C4 just sitting there for a while. You can't throw C4 like that, man. No, I, I, no, no, I, no I, thought that was a, I thought that was a C4 that oh, was just okay. sitting there for 30 seconds. But I, I don't know. Like, I didn't know if the grenade killed him or not. Yeah. I know the C4 does auto explode after a time. Yeah. yeah. I think it's 30 seconds. Yeah, the way that uh, Link's bomb also works as well. All right, does wow, almost died because of the jump in the, uh, jump arc there. Yeah, this is Nico's game to lose here. I mean, he had the lead originally, but now at 101 and 61% even stocks. I know Nico kind of looked at the arts and said, okay, which is going to be the right opportunity? Speed art, put this man in the corner. I like the jump out because he sent the grab. And as you were so Oh, that was a miss input there, but Nico's still coming back. I'm like, let go of the ledge because he knows the explosion will hit him back. As you were saying before, this chip damage from Snake is just going to snowball. It's one, one of the things that Snake is really best at as well. These little percentages that you get from Grenade are just going to add up. And Nico very well knows this, yeah, sitting he, in death percent. Yeah, he knows. I got to cross this man up every single time. Smash Art holds the shield. I'm surprised he even saw I don't know if he was looking at the C4, man, but... I, I, I would be just... I would just hold that shield no matter what. Like, no, wanted to cross him yet again. Speed, not going to do it for him. He's going to go with a back throw here, Nikita. C4. I like the delay on speed air slash there. Oh, backs off. He saw the shield. He knows. I got to watch out. 
Air slash? No, no, no. That would have been a big call out though, but the back air is understanding right there. Catching Snake in the slip up there. Cause Honestly, I, that air slash would have been over like, it would have been the money, but if you missed it, yeah, yeah you you're okay. Because yeah. like, the thing is that uh, I believe that air slash would have caught, uh, caught Rody on his air dodge down. Because mm. air slash moves down first before yeah. it goes back up. That's a thing too. I'm, I'm, I would have been hyped to see, but I'm glad like, he, he played yeah, it safe. Yeah, definitely playing it safe would would net you some better games. Like there are a lot of situations where high high risk high reward can work, but that was one of the situations where you could just reset yourself back to neutral, reset the center stage. And that's what Nico did. All right, well, game two here. Oh, this is one of his corners. Excuse me, I guess I'm a big fat liar. I thought it was semis, but I next thought it semis. was semis too. That, that, that's my fault for the fees here. Because we saw Nico earlier. I thought that was winner's quarters. Yeah, yeah. And that happens, man. Some of the game, 154, 156 entrance. Sometimes the tournament feels a lot faster than it was. Shout out to the TOs. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Right All right. Get it. Oh, not able to land with fair there. Gets gets a dash attack after with the buster art active. Actually not opting to uh, to chase after Rody with a smash art on. Yeah, he knows. He's going to come. He's going to go for that high recovery. I ain't got to find him when he lands. That's the best plan. There's a jump, gonna get him on the high recovery if he can. Not able to get the back airs that he threw out. Speed art again, gonna get hit with the grenade. No, gets nice. the stair Good mask chase. That's one thing Rody is really excellent at is the tech chases. Yeah, and we saw it earlier in game one. He wasn't able to get it as consistently, but there, ca catching him on the neutral getup with the grenade pop into the up tilt. See, last game, Nico went for let go of the ledge and went for a neutral air or a forward air to come back in, and that worked really well. I'm surprised he didn't go for the same option, but I feel like you said right the jump. He had the anti air for the uh, answer. Yeah, he also had a grenade pop just just in case, mm -hmm. uh, as we observed there, and did have the up tilt uh, ready and waiting. So there was a lot that Nico had to take into uh, consideration when he was trying to recover, and just did not work out for him. But again, this percent is mounting up, and Rodu finally gets a kill. At what uh, at what cost for Nico though? Yeah, sixty four percent. I mean, Nico can definitely bring this back, but this is Rodu's game to lose if he doesn't get it right back. Throwing with the grenade explosion, Nico already on ninety one, ninety seven. Excuse me. Yeah, this shield art uh, doing wonders for Nico as well, not allowing Rodu to combo off of it. Another grenade gonna catch him on the reverse hit of Nair. I'm sorry for everyone back at home. I know the, the match is hype, but shout out to the nostalgia that is this song coming all the way from 64. Um, that's everybody knows my age, but hey man, I love this from 64. <laughs> all right, ooh, actually not able to get him on the smash back air there. Just a little bit misplaced on the roll. Oh, I love this movement here, jumping in and out of Rody. He knows I kind of want to fake this guy out before I make my option here forward air. Even with the grenade in play, Rody took some damage. Yeah, definitely. That retreating fair actually saved Nico from taking any damage from. Oh God, he had he had it with the C4 there, but Nico backed off just in time. Yeah, and it goes to show Nico knows what moves kill Cipher and forward air is not one of them. Back air, and I'm sorry, up air and forward air with only with Buster Art. We'll be able to do it. And I yeah. think if it's forward, it has to be the early hit. I'm not 100% sure on that one. I, I had no idea there was like different hits to it. Yeah, yeah. You, you kind of have to make sure like which arrow you do get on Cypher. It's kind of what makes the matchup a struggle for sure. All right, gets the speed art on, trying to close this distance against Rody and retreat when he needs to. But Rody has his number already at 44%, not able to get the C4 extension off of the back air. Very nice parry on the grenade. Not going to take any damage on the shield. Oh. All right, does get the dash attack on the landing there. Jump, not able to catch the back air afterwards. Switching back into speed here. Surprised that he's not using speed to, to rush them out, uh, rush him down a little bit more. Yeah, I do like it that he's using speed to find the speed to move around in out of the shield and then kind of cross him up and then find a hit here. I oh. feel like that's been the name of the game for Nico is cross up Rody for trying to go for these grenades, the C4s, and then get in the damage as soon as possible. Once I jump. have the cross up, up I would have definitely done it. The Monado not able to reach in that position there. You gotta watch out for that C4. C4 is still on the platform there. Oh, and he sneaks yeah. it in on the last second when he sees the R change. Rody kind of reels back and he's like, you know what? I barely won that one. I honestly thought that Nico was gonna switch into shield, go for the up air. Instead, he switched for a smash. He saw blood in the water and that's like, he knows. You know what, man? Keep going for the high recovery. My up air has the percent to do it. And that was really good bait from Rode too, because yeah. he knew that Nico was was gonna go for uh go for it as as soon as he saw him go up. Yeah. And had that C4 in the right placement to get him with the C4 uh, explosion on the platform. And that's kind of one of those things you gotta watch about from Snake too, is that if they go for the high recovery, they love to come back with that grenade and C4 pool. Either they wave bounce it, 
or they go for a B reverse, man, you gotta watch out because Snakes love to sneak in those C4s on the way back down. But let's go to here to game three. And you, you can't be too narrow minded when you're trying to catch Snake yeah. on, on his come down. Because as we saw right there, being a little bit narrow minded could cost you the whole game. Mm -hmm. All right, throws out the napalm, throws out the grenades. All these explosions keeping Nico at bay here. Ooh, actually, it's surprising. Rody deciding to run in himself that time. <laughs> I like it. Neil kind of just waited there on Rody. He, he oh. said, your grenades are going to do it for me. Like, I, Yeah, and I have a lead, man. 89 to 44. Definitely playing slower than he was uh, last game here. Just more uh, central states. Oh, he went for the down tilt, and that's kind of what took him the, on the percent here. All right. Just boom, blow that C4 up. Going to reset the charge on it. Oh, he jumped up at the right time for that back air. Jump mode just in case Rody decided to go high. Speed art. Oh, very nice. Going for the high recovery that time with speed art on because he knows he can't catch him there. Yeah, and this time Neil kind of stopped himself after the first jump. He's like, wait a minute. I've seen, I've had a little PT PTSD from last game. 107 to two stocks, equal on the three. Definitely had that deja vu. Knowing he's been to that place before, going with this shield art on the dash attack, definitely going to help him. Uh, try and combo Rody, but not able to get anything off of it. Oh wow, did not blow up the grenade as well with the reverse hit of Neutra Air. Alright, not able to get the, uh, the parry on the grenade there. I think he went into bus, uh, into the mono auto dial. 179, man, Nico looking like he wants that extra kind of homework do as soon as, po as late as possible, because he knows he's working on it. Definitely working on here, but Rody's playing super elusive. That, that grenade, grenade gonna save him again. Or there, another one can put him off the stage. 33% already. I thought he was gonna go for the all or nothing, but jump full hops over to C4. Very nice awareness from Nico here. Goes with a jump art. All right, catches him. Oh, he up there. He <laughs> went with him. Your mind this time. He knows, man. I can't let this man get away for going for that out special all the time. Shield art survives that classic snake killer here. And as, gotta remember, from 160% onwards, it's true on all characters, down throw into up tilt, but that grenade is gonna kill him right Yeah, Rody kind of shakes it off a little bit. Okay, I'm down one stock, Nico to 53. Nico's game to lose here. Stairmaster at the ledge. All right, Nutri Air. Oh, tries to get him on the tech in place and does style storage speed. Okay. Yeah, and then re. Oh, oh gets him a second time at 70%. You can't keep escaping from that, man. You just can't. You can kind of cut onto it, too. He knows. You know what? Every Sneak's favorite opportunity, the high recovery. Definitely. And if you love it, you'll die from it. Nonetheless, good stuff to Nico. Honestly, getting that, I, this is... Game oh. five? I believe this is game five. Semis. Okay, we actually in semis. Okay. So this is actually semis. Okay. Yeah, because it's someone in the corner. So this is actually semis? Yeah, it's actually semis. Okay. So we were right. Let's go. Man, I got bad boots. But but let, <laughs> let let's go both players showing yeah. off the strengths of their characters super well, showing out like how they could get out of disadvantage like as quickly as possible. Nico doing really well at managing that shield arc. Rody doing well at managing the grenade positions. He's managing where he wants Nico to go quite quite a bit with all these explosives he's been throwing out. And he has Nico at 42% at the start of this game. Nico trying to get back in, switches straight back into shield as these explosions have been pushing him out a little bit too much for his liking here. All right, gonna catch him on the roll in with Nair. Buster Fair, gonna catch him. Nope, not gonna get him with the Buster up air. Oh, I think Rody really wanted that grenade to be hitting Nico just to get that back air. Gets a jump, just hoping that I he think goes this, high again. At this point, Rody should be already conditioned to the fact that, okay, you know what, I can't keep going for that high recovery and Nico knows I have Rody scared. For going up in the sky, now he's gonna go and go for those little recoveries. As we kind of saw a little bit earlier. Yeah, Nico going absolutely in with all of, uh, all this pressure against Rody here, even though he has the percent deficit. See, he's a little more scared to go a little bit too high. This time he directional air dodge upwards, sneaks in a C4. Hopefully Nico gonna solve the placement there, but Rody knows if Nico didn't see it, that might be death for Nico. All right, that back air not gonna kill just yet. Snake is the heavy boy. All right, he's actually avoiding the C4 pretty well in this moment. Yeah. You can kind of see it there. Yeah, there, it just exploded. Yeah. Switches to speed art just in case he needed to weave back in and out. Needs to come back to stage, and Kita gonna snipe him. Oh, didn't get the invincibility from the direction of air dodge just in time. All right, gonna switch into jump? Nope. Oh, no up air? Oh, wow, no I thought he fast fell too much. <gasps> jump no, gonna take good. it? He's good, yeah. 
All right. Jump going to take him back. Uh, not sure what the, uh, what the vision there was for, but he was still able to get the stock nonetheless with a back air. Buster Art going to come back into play. Gets a down tilt. Four tilt. tilt. No, missed the mark there, but that's still damage there. 34 on a 48. Nico knows. 75. Jesus. Still climbing. 104 in a matter of seconds. Yo, man, his man stealed the percent indefinitely, and he stole the ledge with that forward there. In right. Chile, are there any shulks that Brody uh, I can't. Into? Honestly, I'm going to go with you, man. I can't name any of them, but Chile did send in one of their snake mains, and he's definitely caused a lot of trouble for SoCal. Yeah, and right there, using the shield art to extend the percent that he gets on Nico as well. He's staring master into grenade, into back air. Not able to kill, of course, with shield art, but he's still able to get percentage that he needs to kill Nico as quickly as possible. Not able to get the up tilt on, on the beginning of the roll there. Down throw into... Oh, that was nice. I love that play coming out from Rody. He knows I could get this tech chase right. And I mentioned how Rody is really good on those tech chases. He wasn't able to get it that time, but he's got to watch out for jump art. Shulk now. Can we go with the up air? No. I respect the spot dodge because he knows one thing Nico has been doing these past four games, crossing me up. And with the grenade in play, if Nico did cross up Rody, it was going to cover that option. Yep. I right, switches into Buster Art again. Has him at 114. Nico, definitely not scared in this moment, but there goes the stock with the up tilt. Yeah, Rody puts on the out the area and play. Nico, and like the grenade there, kind of having Nico hold shield, and Rody kind of took the time to go out there for a neutral air. All right, I love how Nico is still striking him, even on Unova here, uh, on Kalos. Man, you can, Rody didn't want to be up in the air a little bit too long. Oh. All right, holds that shield against the grenade, still gets it with the back air, down throw into, oh, he doesn't get a the slash? parry. Doesn't get the parry punish, but gets the uh, gets the air slash out of shield here. Ooh, Stairmaster, get off of me here. Another grenade pull. Throws yeah. out the napalm. Oh no, close range there. This is not what you want to see from Snake here. It has the C4 and the up tilt, not gonna take it. Kalos is a very high vertical stage. Yeah, and also Snake's weight kind of helps out just a little bit. Forward air, and Rody's still alive here. There's a jump, he's gonna catch it. This has now become Nico's game to lose. Now Rody, no tech chase here, but I love the down air. Buster Art, Nikita doing oh, some work here. Tough. Still survives. Wait for it. I know, I like the up tilt. Rody was waiting for Nico on the aerial. All right, Speed Art on deck here. And he does get him with the cross up forward air. Very nice from Nico here, catching him at the very last moment. That was, again, as you were saying, Nico's game to lose. Yeah. 